Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Clark. To my right, Walsh Cross Country Coach Rob Mazico and Rob Idol last week, week before the National Catholic Meet. Men first. Ninth place finish. They ran a good race. Um, yeah, they ran very well. Um, conditions were great that day, um, which led to fast times. We had, I believe, six of our top seven under 27 minutes. Uh, four of our top six men set personal best records. Uh, so it was a really good day for us. Who did well and who did what? Um, Nine by ran really well. He ran under 26 minutes for the first time ever. Um, kind of pulled away in the second half of the race, put himself up there with a lot of the D1 guys. Um, and then after that, we were followed up by number two and number three, uh, Justin Maroney and uh, Tristan Williams. Both freshmen ran great races, ran in 26 30. Six twenty six thirty eight. So really big races for both of them. It's like the men know with Grubert redshirting this year, they got to step it up, and they're starting to do that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's from the Rick Sayer meet to Notre Dame, they've stepped it up. Or, you know, this week will be a big test. Uh, a lot of the D three teams that we've run so far, John Carroll, Mount Union, uh, they've sat kids when they ran us. So obviously we were able to beat them, but I'm sure at the All Ohio meet they'll line their entire lineup up. So it's going to be a good test for us. And that's a great race. It always has been. Mm -hmm. This point of the season, a couple of weeks off in between, are they where you want them to be right now? Absolutely. We had an outstanding workout last Friday. Uh, they're primed and ready to go. You know, it's a long season. Our biggest race is this year in November, and it's not even October yet. So um, October is going to be a big month for training, keeping the mileage up so we can run our best races in November. That's a good sign. The women, now they ran well mm -hmm. at the Notre Dame meet as well. Kelsey Dickey, 19th. Um, she's just been leading the pack the entire year as she's, as she's done through her career here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kelsey ran really well. It was a significant improvement in her time from the Rick Sayer meet. Um, and then Sasha backed her up. Uh, Sasha ran another PR. I think our top four girls in that race, or our number two, three, four in that race ran PRs. Uh, Maggie Kroll, freshman, Tori Reeves, um, both were fighting low iron early in the year, but now that their iron's getting up, they're getting a lot faster. Um, so our top four looked really good. Um, so we just keep, you know, keep working hard, and we'll see what it, where it takes us. And that's such a key. The youngsters beginning to progress early for you, and then Sasha, who hasn't run a lot across company lately, she's getting to where she wants to be. That's a very good sign when you get to this all the how meet, and then later on as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're real excited. I mean, on both sides. Um, you know, in the meets that we have coming up, um, the All Ohio meet, the Wilmington meet, and then we get in, like I said, our big meets in November. Thanks, Rob. Good luck this week. Thank you very much. The All Ohio's Friday at Cedarville. I'm Jim Clark. We'll talk to you next week.